This VizCast will be looking at a problem involving lenses and image formation. So pause the video and read through the question carefully. Now that you've read through the question, let's begin our solution with an interpret step. And in this case, it should be fairly clear we're looking at images being formed through lenses. We've also got two different kinds of lenses. We've got a diverging lens and a converging lens. And we're given information here about some things like focal length and maybe object distance. So we're probably going to want to be combining these using our thin lens equation. Moving on to our develop step, as usual, and especially for optics, it's going to be useful to draw some diagrams here. Just a sketch to see what kind of answers we expect, what kind of behavior we anticipate uh, is going to come out of our equations here. So here might be the case for my converging lens. Here I might indicate the focal length on either side of the lens and I might put my object in. Remember my object is at 20 centimeters which is a bit less than my focal length so I'm going to put my object in here and now I need to think about some principal rays that I could draw. I could draw one that goes parallel to the axis and that will go through the focal point. I can draw one that goes through the center of the lens and that will go through undeflected and I can see here even in my not so well drawn diagram that these two rays are not going to overlap and I'm going to have to trace them back over here somewhere and in fact I probably don't have enough room in my diagram but I can see they'll end up meeting some point over here and I can imagine my image must be formed somewhere over there. Importantly here I can also remember that the focal length for this lens will be positive uh, it's going to be 25 centimeters and my image my object distance here as given in the question is going to be 20 centimeters. Now that's for my converging lens. Let's try a diagram for my diverging lens. So here's my diverging lens here, focal length either side. Um, remembering that I get, again my object is inside the focal length there and I need to think about some principal rays so I can try one parallel to the axis and that will be um, deflected as if it had come through the focal point but on the same side over here. So I've got to think about my diffracted ray going out there and once more the one through the center of the lens goes through undeflected and unsurprisingly for my diverging lens I don't have any image being formed out here but I can trace those diffracted rays back. In fact they already have been traced back. I can see that this is the intersection point here and so I would expect my image to be formed somewhere just indicated there fairly small on this diagram. Keeping in mind that the focal length for a diverging lens will actually be negative. I'm told they've got the same magnitude but they won't have the same value. This one will be minus 25 centimeters and I have the same object distance here 20 centimeters. And I'm going to be using my thin lens equation here which you will recall says 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance s prime equals 1 over the focal length and it's this S prime here that I'm going to try to calculate. So let's do our evaluation step here. Uh, let's start off with our converging lens because that's the first one that I drew. If I rearrange that thin lens equation I find that 1 over S prime will equal 1 over F minus 1 over S and this is a fairly straightforward calculation now. It's going to be 1 over 25 minus 1 over 20 and I might choose to put those over a common denominator for example of 100 and that will give me uh, 4 is 1 over 25 minus 5 is 1 over 20 and that gives me minus 1 over 100 that's what 1 over s prime is so I can see that the s prime here must equal 1 over that or minus 100 in fact everything I've done here is in units of centimeters and although my uh, diagram wasn't to scale that doesn't seem like too bad of a number. We'll think about that when we get to the assess step of our solution. Let's do a similar calculation now for our diverging lens. We've got the same expression here 1 over s prime here will equal 1 over f minus 1 over s. Now my focal length is negative so I've got to keep that in mind. 1 over minus 25 minus 1 over 20. I can again use a common denominator there of 100 but now I've got minus 4 minus 5 which will equal minus 9 over 100. So in this case my image distance here will be minus 100 divided by 9 which is approximately minus 11.1. .1. Again 
in units of centimetres. So moving to my final part of my solution, my assessment step here, I can see I've got negative values for both the image distances, which is telling me, so if S prime is negative, I'm expecting a virtual image on the same side of the lens as the object, and indeed that's what my diagrams indicated I should have had. For both of these diagrams I ended up with an image that was on the same side of the lens as my object, and it was a virtual image, it wasn't formed by the light rays overlapping, it was formed by tracing back the light rays to see where it appeared as though they overlapped. And again, the, the distances there seem about right. Um, for the converging, I was actually a long way further away from the lens than my object. And that's indeed what my diagram showed. And my, my answer here, minus 100 centimetres. That's a lot further away from the lens than the 20 centimetres. Um, so that the converging location seemed correct. And for the diverging case, um, the same deal here. I end up with a number here of minus 11.1. .1. That's a bit smaller than my 20 centimetre. In fact, it's about halfway, and my diagram wasn't so bad there. It did show that my image was about halfway between the object and the lens. So my assessment step there seems, my numbers there seem to match up both in terms of their sign and in terms of their relative value.